morning, Internet. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Thank you very much. We are in Seville, Ohio. Uh, we deliver. I've already done stuff. I've already done things. I went all the way back up to the Poconos, picked up a load, brought that to Ohio, practically the Football Hall of Fame. And then I picked up another load in that tiny town where I screwed up that turn called Shelby. And now we are going to Vermont, middle of Vermont, practically. Um, we're going to take I-90 to get there. I'm going to pass this giant crane. Ah! The big crane. Woo! Giant crane. Go crane, go. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, pass the crane. Uh, we're going to go all the way up through Cleveland onto I-90 all the way up there. Like way, way up there through Erie and Buffalo. I haven't been up there in years, literally. We have not gone that way. So we're going to do that. Um, go deliver in Vermont. We have to go down Route 4 for as much as I possibly can and then stop when the permit area starts. <laughs> like, just don't take Route 4. So that's the thing. Uh, yeah, because trucks aren't allowed on like a section of Route 4 uh, without a permit. And I don't have a... Do I have a permit? I'll check my permit book. I don't think I have a permit. <laughs> I'm pretty positive I don't have a permit. Um, so anyway, we're, it doesn't really matter. I gotta go all the way up to 89. Anyway, so that's, that's my story. From there, we are going back to the Poconos uh, because it paid so well to go to Vermont. And then I'm picking up another load that's going to Michigan. And then I'm picking another load up out of Michigan and then back home to Pennsylvania. From there, I drop this empty in the Poconos so that they can play with it in their facility for the time that I will be out in the American West. That's right, uh, it's vacation time because I said so. We're going, we've been playing this for like a year. It's not like I got in the truck and then we're on vacation. Nay, nay. This is more like I got in the truck uh, after vacation was planned. So, yeah. Um, I've been like in panic mode about the amount of money that I have to make in order to cover the said vacation and to cover all of the expenses, which is why we are running to the wire. I won't be home until the day before we leave. <laughs> this it's pretty awful. So I have that one like half a day to get things ready. Um, Jet's with me because he doesn't like our backyard. So he comes with me now, which is cool. Um, as you know, when Steve comes with me, so does Spike. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you right now. We might as well just carry on and uh, hopefully my microphone hasn't died and this is all just dead silence. That could also be a thing that has happened. I have a battery, but I'm not putting it in while I'm moving. Nay, nay. Not good. No. Okay, wait. I'll wait till this car all the way in the left-hand lane passes me. It's a truck pulling a thing. It is a gorgeous rat rod. Because it's ratted out. Uh, it needs an engine. I think something might be missing from this little car. You might need to fix that. That, that in the front. Your, your tires look great though. sad dog. Is that because I turned the camera on? You have all your toys with you. You've had your breakfast. Huh? Why are you a sad dog? Huh? Because you want more breakfast? No, we can't have more breakfast. Can we go outside? We gotta go. We have places to be. We have to start moving. We are currently in, I guess, Tom says it's the town of Tyre in Seneca, New York. 
This is called Petra Waterloo. We stay here for the night so I can get a shower this morning. I'm getting my breakfast ready. I've already put my, I've actually picked a different, I know I said I did Pedialyte, but I'm trying this new stuff because I couldn't find my Pedialyte when I went to Wegmans. Um, it's Ultima Replenisher. It comes in one giant thing and stuff. Um, it's an electrolyte supplement, um, but there's zero sugar, which I really like because I feel like the Pedialyte stuff had a lot of sugar in it, which could be good, but I need to drop my sugar kick. I'm really, I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. Um, so we're getting ready to head out. I only have six hours left and then I'm at my destination, so I don't know what I'm going to do today because I don't have far to go. So... Um, I had battery trouble at the end of the night last night, so that's why like the video seems a little weird and cut short, but I guess you guys wouldn't know any better because you saw what you saw and that's that. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I have. So, Allie, why? Why? Why are you here? Hey, I want to put my seatbelt on. Um, uh, I had to get more jet fuel. Um, he eats Hill Science Diet, uh, specifically the sensitive skin and stomach. Um, and I ran out of the can. He has a little bit of can and a little bit of dry because it slows him down. You kind of make it into a gravy, so he has to kind of like lick some of it and eat some of it really slowly. So he can't inhale it and then throw it right back up. Uh, in fact, in there I found some like slow feeding bowls that have like patterns in them. I can only imagine cleaning those though. <laughs> a whole other nightmare. Turn left and then turn right at 760 feet. This is my left turn? Okay, thanks. Uh, we're leaving. I <laughs> I ran in. I didn't even bring Jet. I ran in. I bought him a toy. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Thanks, Tom. So yeah, I bought him a toy, um, which is a little, like, not stuffed rabbit. And I bought him a bone that he actually has has gone after, which is good. Usually he doesn't. But he, he was. I wanted to show you this, too. I wanted to show you the old... At least it looks old to me. <laughs> Look at how old it is! It's a Bass Pro, but it's little. At least it feels little. It may not be. It might carry on for a while, but it looks small. <laughs> Made me laugh. Anyway, I gotta get back on the highway uh, and stop screwing around in uh, Auburn or Aurelius. So uh, that's what I'm doing. But yeah, I had to go get more jet fuel. We ran out of the cans because I didn't think I thought I'd go home this weekend. I'm not. I'm going to Michigan. <laughs> I should be here. <laughs> this does not feel like a place that I should be because it's nice and there are stores and it is lovely and there are people and they're all happy. I'm hoping. I don't know. But it looks lovely and I feel out of place. And I don't like that because I really like it here. This is really nice. But I'm like 70 feet long and monstrous and I shouldn't be here. And it's not. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is uh, Saratoga Springs. So that's where we are. Uh, it says Truck East 29. So I guess, I guess this is a truck route. As long as there's a truck sign, it just doesn't feel like I should be here. But I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I think everything kind of slightly goes that way, so I think I'm okay in this lane. I wanted to get away from all the parked cars. Because I also don't feel like I should be there. This feels great and awesome and terrible. Like, why am I here, Tom? Why did we come this way? Okay. 
Uh, I'm squishing a Jeep. <laughs> There's a Jeep who doesn't know what to do. Woo. All right, now how do I get on 87? 1.8 miles, okay. Whew. That was Saratoga Springs. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, okay. So, how do I explain this? If I hadn't come to Vermont a couple of times before and done this route, I would be really nervous right now that I would be breaking the law. But because I have done this before and I know it's a legal route, I feel a lot better. Because everything looks familiar. Uh, but it's summer. So like, everybody is here. Anybody want a cold and cooler? There's a giant pile of them over there. Because the Coleman outlet is right there. The Ralph Lauren outlet looks a little sad. There's no room for me. Thanks, Tom. I would love to go shopping. But, uh... Hey, I didn't say you could come out. I don't care if they said you could come out. I didn't say you could come out. What's outside, Jed? I want to go shopping. Not that I have any money to do so because all the money is going into the house and we're going on vacation. But I want to go. A lot of stuff here. Anyway, we're still in New York. Uh, we're near Lake George. We're in Lake George. What am I talking about? We're in Lake George. This is Lake George. Welcome to Whitehall, New York. Um, it's a village of Whitehall. I heard this rumor a long time ago that Bigfoot lives here. But, uh, last I checked, Bigfoot was living in Kepler, West Virginia. So, I don't know who, to, I don't think the rumor is very founded. <laughs> so, this is Whitehall. Uh, it can't be far from Vermont. I don't believe it's far from Vermont, because I recall this being pretty close to the border. Uh, some guy just got pulled over for running a red light, and it was great. <laughs> it was very blatant. <laughs> and he deserved it. But yeah, this is Whitehall. The village of Whitehall in Washington County, New York. Almost Vermont. Oops, that's not the, that's not the, <laughs> that's not the gear I wanted. Give me this gear. Thank you. What did you want me to do? Turn right. The right? Rutland. Yes. Because I don't want to go to, I'm going to say Ticonderoga. Yeah, it does. Ticonderoga. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to take a right. Where is this right? I have time to think about it. Sweet. That one! Right there! Where that car is! Sorry, there's a lot of cars. Where that guy just came out of. The Nissan. The Nissan. Right there. Oh! And I have a green! I thought I had time to think about this. Alright, let's go this way. Wee! Ah! Welcome, birthplace U.S. Navy. Really? The U.S. Navy was born here? Uh, I believe that. Ugh. Yeah, I can believe that. I think, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, the Navy is born up here. Yeah, yeah, because our naval battles actually happen up here on the rivers. Uh, this does not look like a me friendly bridge. Ah! Oh, we made it. We're all good. Don't you fret about me. Oof, oof. Still in Whitehall. That's pretty good. Not in Vermont yet. Oh. Here comes the fun! Get excited! Is that a castle? It's been a long time since I've been up here. A long time. That's a castle. Is that the armory? That's a red light! <laughs> Whitehall Armory. Yeah, that is. That's a very pretty armory. Oh, that's a green light. As soon as I stop, gonna get it back in gear. There are Tex-Mex tacos up here. The second regiment! Uh, company L? Or company I? Company something. I can't. Company 1? Second Regiment? NG New York. New, new Garden? New Castle? I don't know. Somebody tell me about the Armory of Whitehall. It's very pretty. Apparently having a... Oh, the golf open invitational already happened. There's Zumba though on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you are so inclined. 
Anyway, Whitehall. Whitehall, hooray. I don't know if there's anything else interesting in town. We'll find out. Way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Please. Please. I have so many other better things to do than play with a way station. Please. I can't read it. Close. Woo. No way. No way. I can't remember the last time I went in a way station. Oh no. What's that flashing light mean? You said closed. What is that? Do you see that way off in the distance? I th don't think that's part, of is it? What's, oh, it's just the intersection, okay. Phew, <laughs> I was like, what is that? Not a thing I need to worry about. Uh, anyway, we're leaving New York, which is great, because now they can't pull me over, right? We're going to Vermont. This is Vermont. Whoop. Crossing border, entering Vermont. Hello, Vermont. How are you? I haven't been here in forever. I was very close a couple of weeks ago when we went to New Hampshire and checked out Swansea. But now, now, we, uh, what? Now we are on a highway? Wow, Vermont. Just saying. You know what you're doing. This is pretty nice already. Now those people that were behind me can get around me. They will be very excited. Thank you. kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Why are we stopped? Is it so they can go over the bridge? What is this madness? What is this madness? The bridge is missing jets. Where did the bridge go? What is it? Why? Why is this happening? All right, well, it, well, he's a short trail. I'm gonna do what he did. I'm gonna take over this whole bridge. It's all mine. It's a, it's a, I was gonna say fake traffic light. It's a temporary traffic light. But we're gonna do this. I have a huge light of cars behind me and I feel so bad. There's been nowhere for me to pull over. Nowhere. But then again, I'm not like the slowest one on this route. There's actually a minivan that's slower than me behind me. It's been holding everybody up. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm taking over this whole road. Nobody's coming and I need to. I'm too big. Oh my god, are you flipping? Oh, okay. Okay. Watch me go. Do, 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 do. Little tiny hill. Little tiny hill. Climb the little tiny hill. We're in Pittsfield, Vermont. Still in Vermont. Still in Vermont. Ah! And now we're all done. And I get to do it all over again tomorrow because that's kind of the easiest way to get back to Pennsylvania so I can pick up my next leg going to Michigan. Jed just had his dinner. I went and bought him a couple of new cans. He loved it. And now he's going to lay on top of my pillows and just look out the window. Aren't you? Look at that happy dog. Happy dog. Life is good. All right, until tomorrow. Good morning, Internet! Hello! We've arrived at our delivery. This was way easier than I thought it was going to be because there's like, here, I'll show you real quick before we do this demo. That's my room. And there's a car over there and I need to get in the door that I'm in. That one. Uh, way easier than I thought it was. I nailed it first try. I had to like do a couple of pull-ups just to keep it straight, but whatever, I nailed it. All right, so here's my demo. Clean cloth, right? Clean. This will be my third time going over this steering wheel. Ready? One wipe. Come on. One wipe. Third time. Third. Third time I've picked up dirt off this thing. Steering wheels are gross. I have cleaned this thing obsessively a lot. St second wipe. Second. Please clean your steering wheels for other people. <laughs> this is really gross. Like Tex 
or you like think about how many like communicable diseases that live on your steering wheel ah i need to clean this more often that's so gross and the reason i'm like really like obsessively wiping everything down right now is that i put the screens in last night and it rained <laughs> and it didn't rain a lot but it rained enough i don't think that's dirt i think that's just worn <laughs> This is where somebody leaves their hand. I don't. My hands are always down here. Maybe like right up in here. I tell, I like to keep my elbows tucked into my my core so that if something happens, I can brace against my core instead of being way up here and having to brace against my shoulders. No, I like it down here. I was, with this seat, I have had to um, adjust. Like I actually have to use the armrest. I'll have to put my arm up here for a little while just to relax all of the tension that comes up in here. But yeah, this is usually where I hold down here. Unless I'm turning, then I'd hold it like this. Um, but I remember when I first started driving, my trainer was like, who taught you how to drive like that? It's like, it's just how I drive, dude. <sighs> that, was, that was that. <laughs> Didn't argue with me. Didn't make me change. And I'm not going to, because I feel like it actually might be safer. That's why the steering wheel's in my lap. It's because then all the control is like right in my core rather than like way up here where you just, you're like, you're trying to lean over the thing. All, all of your strength is in your core. Why wouldn't you want your control to also be in your core? Just a thought, doesn't mean that I'm right. It's just my philosophy on driving. I don't know that I've ever told you guys that, uh, but that's why I drive the way that I do. Um, so we're getting unloaded. There's a bunch of dudes that sound like they're half Boston, I mean half New England really, because it's way up here in Vermont. They also sound half Canadian and it's adorable and I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. <laughs> I wanted to talk to them more. I wanted to be like, I wanted to have somebody to get excited about like getting into that door so easily, but they don't want to. They just want to smoke these cigarettes and go to work. Tanner in the woods. We're leaving, leaving, leaving. Um, they like Jet, because Jet's a love. Who doesn't love Jet? Oh, down the hill, down the hill. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> oh, we pick up speed quick. Wee! Ah! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Whoops. That door, again, was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, this was a very nice delivery. We are not taking the back way out. It is literally nine minutes faster, and I'm not doing it. I'm not. And now that I know that, I don't know that I'm gonna do it next time. Well. And I'm back in the office because that's what happens when a trip is over. It's not over for you guys yet. Uh, we are, I don't remember where I left this off. We're on our way back to the Poconos to go pick up a load going to Michigan. And I noticed that I had a lot of film. So I split this into two pieces instead of just one giant one. Cause that would have been like 40 to 45 minutes long. 
Um, but the only thing that does is it delays us from getting to the next trip, which is Michigan and then home. And then vacation, which I don't know if I'm going to actually get to you guys until later because it's a lot of B-roll and it's a lot of stuff. So it's going to take me a little while to get to vacation. So we might actually go on my second trip, which I just finished, which is a western half of the country trip. And it's really exciting because I completed an entire highway in one trip. I'm so excited to share it. So the next video will be out on October 6th because that's how this works. Did you guys know? I know you don't know this, but did you know that these videos come out early for early access peeps on the Octo Squad? Yes, they do. These are usually out Thursday or Friday before the Sunday release, so you can watch them early. And they're all released on the website early. So if you wanted to watch them there, you can do that. The other thing that we have because we offer that kind of a tier is that sometimes the videos on Sundays don't come out right at noon, especially when we're on vacation, which is what happened with one of our videos. Because of that, you can always watch them on the website alleynight.com immediately because they're early released. So they will be available at noon on Sunday at the website for sure. Even if it's not live on like public on YouTube, you can always watch them on the website at noon on Sunday, unless you're an early access tier. And then you can watch it either on Thursday or Friday, whenever I get these out. Right now it's Thursday when I'm finishing this video. So maybe it'll be out Thursday night. Maybe it'll be out Friday. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that you guys still hang out here. It's really nice. I am going to get going because I have to get this done and then go check on Steve because he's downstairs working on the house. And I should probably eat something and I'd like to go for a run. I have other things to do, so I'm going to go do those things. But thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, you won't find me on Twitter because I haven't been on Twitter for a while and it's been really healthy and I've been really happy about it. You will find me on Instagram at gluttonous. So if you wanted to follow me there, you can. I post a lot of pictures of trucks in Vegas and other things. I think that's it. I don't know anything else that I do. I'm not really on Facebook, so you can't really see me there. You can see me here. And you can always check us out on the website. We have a Discord, but I'm also not there. <laughs> I'm just hard to get a hold of. So if you really wanted to get in touch with me, you can always send me an email and hopefully I can get back to you. It'll all depend on how much time I have, which is none. So I will try my best. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. I have things to do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on October 6th. Okay, bye. Okay. How's the fit look?